Today, President Obama announced new executive actions intended to curb gun violence across the country. In an emotional address, he said he's not waiting for Congress to make changes, citing a string of mass shootings, including the massacre at Sandy Hook Elementary. Every time I think about those kids, it gets me mad. His initiatives bring a divisive gun control debate front and center once more. The prospect of tighter gun laws has always been a boon for the firearms business. And in the past 10 years, we found gun sales in Rhode Island recently saw a dramatic rise. Target 12 investigator Tim White poured through federal data and is here now with what he found. Following the San Bernardino shootings last month, Rhode Island saw the highest number of federal background checks for gun purchases of any month since the Sandy Hook massacre in 2012. Larry Phelps, manager of Hope Valley Bait and Tackle, doesn't need to look at the data to know what December meant for gun sales. It's been a good, good selling month, yeah. A Target 12 review of firearm background check data shows the numbers of those looking to buy a gun hovered below 2,000 for most of the year. Then in December, a spike. Nearly 3,400 people went through the process to buy a firearm that month. That's the single highest month in nearly three years. What do you make of it? Why? The government is trying to tighten the noose on the legitimate people. They're afraid that they're going to say you can't have a firearm. Phelps says with the president's announcement Tuesday, he expects sales to remain high. Within that time frame, you'll probably see an increase in sales of, of both types, you know, long guns and handguns. The federal data also shows there has been an increase in handgun sales in Rhode Island. In 2005, there were just over 4,200 background checks for handguns in the state and over 4,400 for long guns, which are rifles and shotguns. Over the last decade, there's been a shift. In 2015, there were just over 11,000 handgun checks and 8,400 for long guns. They feel the need for personal protection. They, with all the stuff going on, all these mass shootings and stuff. We found there was a total of just over 22,000 federal background checks conducted in Rhode Island in all of last year, but that doesn't represent the total number of guns sold because, of course, people can be denied and there can be multiple purchases per transaction. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, Eyewitness News. And we have a complete breakdown of the data online. There you can look at the number of federal background checks for gun sales in Rhode Island over the years. It's all on our website, WPRI.com.